You're talking about buildings and the people mover. As close as all those buildings are to this Hudson's building right now, you've got to be uh, beware of the fact that there will be windows coming down. And uh, this is why earlier this week people were boarding up their windows all over the area just to make sure that hopefully they could minimize the damage done to their stores. But if there is damage, I know that there will be people on hand to fix that damage for those store, store owners as soon as possible. Tim Adam might have mentioned uh, the cloud deck was very important because if you have a low cloud deck, then you get a lot of echoing and you get more damage because we're talking about quite a sonic pop yeah. that we will hear today. And in, in fact, I was told by one of the demolition people that it's going to be a lot louder than you guys expect. It's not going to be just a crack like you've heard because he says videotape, when you watch these things in person, it's much louder than it is on the videotape later when you show yeah. it on the news. I would think. So I read that it was going to be as loud as a concert. I thought, I think it's going to be a whole lot louder. Probably like than a Who <laughs> concert, right? Or, or yeah. the Stones, something, uh, something big. Uh, they are getting ready to say goodbye. We don't know quite. We're about a minute away from the plunger being pushed. Uh, if we've got a shot of that, uh, perhaps we can see it. Again, this is not the... Uh, there's the there's a shot from chopper seven as we said this is a ceremonial plunger it is not wired in to the immense uh, control pad right now, uh, there you can hear right the now, sirens Sue. behind us yeah. i believe that's a one minute warning one minute warning away and how, how different this skyline's going to look without this historic building here in about a minute 35 seconds yeah well we've got the one shot that you see right there just a reminder we call that our blast cam not far from the building at all unmanned of course people can't be within a three block radius you will see, if only for a second or so, before it gets crushed by all the flying debris, the unbelievable shot from that blast cam after the explosion comes down. We are getting very close right now, I believe less than a minute away, or just about a minute away, as uh, thousands of people gather, ga gather rather, all over the city to, uh, to watch this historic moment, really. Over 100 years that building has stood. A lot of people have unbelievable memories from there. The mayor uh, had requested uh, that he was going to auction off the... Uh, the right, right to push the plunger to the highest bidder and, and uh, he was hoping to raise one hundred fifty thousand dollars for the good fellows uh, which of course uh, make sure that no kitties go without christmases uh, but unfortunately there were no takers because yeah. it's a double-edged sword uh, if you know a company might do it uh, for image building and for public relations but uh, there is some negativity about this there are some historic preservationists that are not happy that this is happening today and there is mayor dennis archer getting he ready is, he is he is ready just to give you a couple of, of quick fun facts uh, to know and tell about this incredible building behind us. It is the tallest department store in the world. 76 elevators, all manned, of course. They had the, uh, the one guy in charge and women on every elevator helping you know where you're going, telling you what was on every level. 48 escalators as well. And yeah, let's go back to Mayor Dennis Archer. Seven, six. You can't see what's behind it. No, you can't. It is Let's, overwhelming to see that. There's Chopper 7, and you can see a little bit of what's left. Uh, the rubble beneath it will be about three or four stories high, and it was as loud as they told us it would be. <laughs> Absolutely. You saw the birds fly out of the trees the minute it started, and uh, there is quite a cloud. It is moving to the east and a little bit our way. Uh, you are talking about 660 million pounds of debris. And hopefully we'll be able to get a shot of this from our blast cam as soon as uh, we can re-rack that tape for us.
well, as you, you can, can see, see, night has fallen uh, here at the here at the Hudson site. The ash and the dust and the dust cloud. And I'm going to put this up because yeah. I don't want to breathe it. And I hope you won't take offense at that. But as you can see from the blast cam, it fell on one side and then the other. It went all over the place, as you can see. City blocks covered in this right now. Indeed. This is and uh, no, no, no.